today we're going to be looking at one of my very favorite breathing exercises. I call it step ladder breathing. You're going to love it. If you've been around Z Health any length of time, you've been watching the blogs, you know that we put a big emphasis on respiration. Uh, obviously, brains need fuel, and one of the best fuel supplies you can provide them is excellent breathing. Uh, so one of the things that we talk a lot about are breathing mechanics. And what you'll find out in our program is that we're not completely sold in one direction or another because if you, get, if you read a lot about respiratory training, some people say, hey, you need to do a lot of belly breathing. Other people say uh, shallow breathing when you're not in motion. And in essence, what we tell people is that we want you to have respiratory competency. Now, respiratory competency, the way we describe it, means that if you need to belly breathe and relax, you can do that. But if you're out for a hard sprint and you need to use the full lung field, including upper chest breathing, which a lot of people tell you to avoid, you also want to be able to do that. You have muscles that are designed for inspiration, inhaling, and exhalation. And so what we want to make sure we do regularly is that we train each of these sets of muscles in different ways. Now, if you look again at a lot of breathing systems, a lot of them are taught in lying down positions or seated or standing, and that's awesome. But one of the things that I love to get people to focus on is what I call step ladder breathing. Now, step ladder breathing accomplishes a couple of different important things. Number one, we're going to work on starting low and working our way up into the chest, increasing our respiratory competency because we're going to inhale all the way up and we're going to exhale all the way up, focusing on one side of the body. That's the step ladder process. The second thing that we focus on in this one is bending this way. Uh, if you look at a lot of exercise programs, lots of people are doing side planks now and they're trying to strengthen the sides of the body. But in general, whenever we watch people move, one of the least mobile motions that we see people have is lateral bending head going sideways, body going sideways. And so in this exercise, we combine both uh, and the results are often quite spectacular. All right, let's get started with step ladder breathing. Step number one is we're gonna work on breathing into one side of the body. Now, I know that you can't really do that, but you can focus your efforts on one side. So I'm gonna start on my right side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hand on my lower abdomen. I'm gonna take a couple breaths in and out. And I wanna feel my abdomen expand on the inhale compress on the exhale. So we'll just do that a couple of times. All right, now I feel that motion. Next, if you have the mobility, I want you to put one hand on your lower back and the other hand on the lower abdomen. And now you're trying to feel a three-dimensional expansion. So whenever you breathe in, you want to feel your abdomen going forward, your back expanding a little bit, and maybe even a little motion out to the side. So think about filling the balloon of the lower abdomen, all right? So you're gonna do a couple breaths there, and then you're gonna do the same process in your lower ribs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and skip over a couple of these. We'll go to the, uh, the three-dimensional version. So one hand on the lower ribs, another hand on the lower ribs and back. Take that deep breath in, fill the balloon. And you're trying to actually drive the ribs out to the side a little bit as you breathe. One more. Good. And you see, I close my eyes sometimes. It helps me focus internally to figure out what is it that I'm trying to accomplish. And then our last step, we're going to actually come to the upper chest. You have some muscles up here, your pectoral muscles even, that attach to your ribs and help lift your ribs in breathing. So one hand on the upper chest. Now, if you can reach your shoulder with your opposite hand, you can do that. If you can't, lean against the wall. All right? Get some pressure against the, the shoulder blade. A couple more breaths in and out. And again, just work on expanding that upper field. Awesome. Now, we've done lower, middle, and upper. Now for the stair step. Again, we're just doing this in standing. So we're going to start at the lower portion. We're going to go to the lower ribs and then the upper ribs. And you're going to try and do this in a chain. So start lower. Feels really, really good. And you may be feeling actually some kind of interesting stretching sensations in different portions of the right side of your body. Once you have the basic stair step in place, now it's time to add in the bend. All right, so I start off with kind of an easy version of this because if you've had back issues or other things, I want you to take it really easy. So you're gonna get in a neutral stance, you're gonna bend your knees slightly. I like to have people tuck the pelvis a little bit as well. And now I just want you to do a light bend away from the side that you're gonna fill up. So if your step ladder's on the right, you're gonna bend to the left. So bend to the left, start low. Next, next. 
and then on the exhale, reverse it, walk back down the ladder, and then come back up. Now, that may have been a lot more intense for you. When you get in this lateral bend position, you're going to feel a lot of different, again, sensations. You may feel some stretching sensations or other things going on. Perfectly normal and okay. So you want to do maybe four or five breaths there and then get on with doing the opposite side. Now, version three is a lot more intense, and that's why I've been standing by this rack the entire time. Because in version three, what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to get into my neutral stance. I'm going to bend my knees. I'm going to tuck my pelvis. I'm then going to bend sideways, reach up and grab the bar. Once I had grabbed the bar, I'm going to push my hips out to the side a little bit. This increases the stretch a lot in this area. So when you start off with this particular version, make sure that your breath is a little less. So don't try to overfill as you walk up the ladder so that you can get accustomed to the position. So again, I'm going to be here. I'm going to get that stretch in. I'm going to take that deep breath. Start low. Again, working up and down the ladder. All right, guys, let's summarize step ladder breathing. Step number one, we have to learn how to breathe on one side of the body from the lower section to the upper section. So step one is practicing two or three breaths just into the lower abdomen on the front and then the lower ribs on the front and then the upper ribs on the front. Once you've done that, you then go back and do three-dimensional breathing. So you go back to the lower portion, you put a hand on the front and a hand on the back and you try to expand three-dimensional like you're blowing up a balloon. And remember, we're only working on one half of the body. So you do that on the lower section, the upper set or the middle section, and then the upper section, if you can reach, you do it with your hand. Otherwise, one hand on the front, lean against the wall. So those are the basic breathing practices. Once you've done that, you then try and do full step ladder breathing, where you start at the lower section, you breathe up, 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 up into one side, and then walk back down the ladder. That's done in a neutral stance. From there, you're gonna bend your knees, tuck the pelvis, you're gonna bend away from the side that you're breathing into, Repeat your step ladder two or three times. And then finally, if you're feeling like you've got some decent mobility, you're going to move over until you can grab onto something, a pull-up bar, the top of a door, something comfortable. You settle into that, you push your hip out a little bit, get more of a stretch, and then you practice your breathing there. And that's it. So those are your basic steps for step ladder breathing. Give it a shot. Do it on both sides of the body. And if you are familiar with the health principles of assessing and reassessing, check your motion before and after. Most people respond super, super well to this drill. Uh, and the other big thing I want to mention is after you've done this, if you have an opportunity, take a walk with your newfound mobility and let it settle in. If you have any questions about this, guys, let us know. Thanks. No, that's not what I want to say. Cut! How's that up for a cut? Karate chop. <laughs> Karate chop the mic. And then up for a cut. Karate job.